What's up, y'all? Chase here from Team Wacker. I'm gonna attempt to give y'all a quicker video today. Uh, I know we get to make a lot of longer videos that very few of y'all <laughs> want to watch all the way through, and that's understandable. So something a little quicker today, I'm gonna do a quick update on the LS240. Um, I've got some cool parts for the 240 recently. We've got a nice uh, little cam and springs that's gonna go into the motor. Uh, we got a nice uh, LS um, Haltech harness, Haltech ECU, and a pretty cool digital dash, but uh, that'll be in the next few videos perhaps, but right now I want to work, I want to show um, what can be done uh, or find out what can be done, because maybe the answer is nothing can be done, but I want to find out what can be done with heavily oxidized old 90s uh, stock Japanese car paint that's been sat out uh, for 30 years now. So I've got a few products I'm going to use. Got a chemical guy set here. We're going to use the uh, orange pads and the white pads um, per the last video that I watched uh, to figure out how to do this. This is all I'm going to use today. I've got some rubbing compound and I've got some polishing compound and I've got an electrical DA sander. We're just going to do the roof today. I want to see what you can do to the worst part of the car. And we're going to start off by just washing off all the dust and the dirt and the grime that's accumulated over the past 30 years. See what we get. To wash this off, I've got some simple green, one to four. Uh, the technical term for that is nasty AF. Uh, just gonna wipe it off with some simple green and some shop towels and uh, try to get off this dirt. And now we're just gonna rinse off what we just got up with some water. Uh, I'm pretty sure you would want to use a clay bar for this if you were doing it correctly. If you cared about your paint, if you had nice paint. This is not nice paint though. So we've got the surface washed off, rinsed off, cleaned off a little bit now. Um, I've got my uh, Harbor Freight brand electric DA sander. Uh, this thing works great for being as cheap as it is. Uh, I've got some random Turtle Wax brand rubbing compound. Uh, it's just what I had laying around. I do not know if this is the best uh, product for this project. And I'm just going to apply it with uh, some shop towel because like everything else in the project, we're, being, we're powered by shop towels. So I'm going to do a little bit of section over here. I'm going to try to keep the section small-ish. But I'm sure I'm going to get too excited and go too much in the first go. So um, let's get going with the uh, orange pad and the cutting compound. See what happens. I almost forgot one thing. They want you to use the conditioning, the pad conditioner, uh, and just spritz it on a little bit to keep your pad fresh when you start. It's a good thing we're doing this uh, perfectly in order. That sort of worked. Um, judging by our current appearance, I think I needed a more aggressive cutting compound, but that's okay. Um, I'm still I'm going. I'm going for improvement. That's all. Uh, now we've got a Turtle Wax brand clean finish polishing compound and the Chemical Guys white pad. We're just gonna apply a little bit to the pad and a little bit of pad conditioner again, and try to do this half of the roof and then that half the roof just like we did with the cutting compound and we'll see where we get to. Okay, so I had a bit of equipment failure, but I think all that you just missed was me wiping off the excess um, polish with a towel. Uh, that's definitely where I could use a microfiber. Um, getting that off with a regular kitchen tower, towel did not go well. But this is the uh, air quotes finished product. Um, again, this is what I did in 
basically what 15 minutes uh, with the products I already had in my garage. Um, it's not show quality. It's not even new quality. It's not even. It's vaguely better quality, and that's what we're going for. Um, but yeah, if I had more cutting, a more aggressive cutting compound, um, a little wax or a sealant, I think to polish off the top, uh, and then a microfiber, I think this would look even better. Uh, but honestly, so here's a before, and here's what it looks like now. So really, I'm not that upset with it. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I will try to have more LS240 content in the future. And um, oh yeah, we uh, we got a boat. There's a whole other, there's a whole new boat product, Bo boat project. So maybe you'll see something about that in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you later.